here in LaConnor, Washington, and we are so excited that Jason's side of the family is coming to meet up with us on the road. The drive from Olympic National Park up to LaConnor, Washington is really incredibly beautiful. We absolutely loved stopping here for lunch and just enjoying the view. We're very excited that Jason's parents, his brother and his brother's girlfriend are meeting up with us on the road. We have wanted to do this for five years to plan a big family vacation. We had planned on meeting up in Yellowstone National Park, but our campground we had reserved was literally washed away in the floods and we quickly had to regroup and Washington won out. We are so excited to show them around one of our favorite places and they will be staying in a cabin at the same campground we will be in. So we have been stalking a site that is close to the cabin. Jason? <laughs> what? What are you, are, is this your incognito? Yeah. <laughs> All they can see is your the shiny top of your head. <laughs> We've been sight stalking. Okay, so those people down there are leaving this really great site. And we're going to go grab it. There they are. Because it's close to the cabin that Jason's family is coming into. Oh, um, they're not going to load up right there. Tomorrow. She's just backing up. Go. You, we're on it. It's time. Yeah! They're down the set. Woo! You're just go. It doesn't matter. We've had people do that to us before. Thousand Trails is a wonky system, and sometimes you just gotta Ooh. know how to work it. Work it, baby, work it. Work it, baby, work it. <laughs> Ooh, we got that side. That's a good one, hon. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. It was worth the wait. Oh, so All right, well, the boys like the new site, that's for sure. All right, so this is the site we have been stalking at LaConnor. It is huge and beautiful. We have all these ferns. We had some neighbors come in this morning that we were extremely loud and we did not want to be parked there. But we also wanted to find a site near my um, the cabin that my in-laws are going to be in for the next week. And this is really close to that. So we're pretty excited about this new site. You like that tree? Yeah. Yeah. Can I climb up? Can I show you? Yeah. Show me how you climb up it. It's got all those knots as little footsteps, right? Very cool, bud. It's a very tall tree. It goes all the way up there. This is a cool sight. Grandma and Grandpa are going to like it. After their arrival and a good long sleep after a long travel day from Texas to Washington, we decided to hit the shoreline of the campground we're staying in before heading out to explore downtown LaConnor.
we are up bright and early and uh, we are heading out to visit the San Juan Islands. We're gonna take the ferry over to Friday Harbor with Jason's family today and uh, early mornings are a little painful for us, but we did it. It's like other people are like long started their day, but mornings hurt for us at 7.45 and we're all groaning about it. So here we go. <laughs> Speaking of groaning, I hear Taryn back there. So Jason's um, going to knock on their door, making sure they're ready to go, and we're going to head on out. Have a great day. <laughs> Your mom is so cute, she's got two coats. <laughs> yep, and Morgan is bringing some some gloves to take with her. <laughs> it's ready for Friday Harbor? Ready. Oh, it is. It was clear at the campground. Are you cold? That seems like it might be fake shivering. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Lunchtime. <laughs> Friday Harbor, did you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely. It's beautiful. What about you guys? Yeah, too much walking. Too much walking. What about you, Jonah? Do you remember being here last time? A little? It was like four years ago. Taryn, did you have fun today? Yep. Yep. What about you? Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, I don't know. The ferry? Yeah. Good yeah. time. Good morning. We are slow starters this morning after a very long day yesterday um, of adventuring and fun. We are heading out to, do you need me to put my arm down so you can see? I'm good. Thank All you. right. Um, we are heading out to Deception Pass State Park. We've actually been there before, but we didn't film the last time we went. Um, we don't really have any pictures or anything. I don't even think I brought my camera when we went. So it was just kind of one of those things that we've done but have no documentation of. <laughs> Um, we are taking Jason's family out there. We're going to go to Deception Pass State Park, and then we're going to go head over to uh, Rosario Beach and check out some tide pools, and we'll throw a picnic in there somewhere, too. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah. What do you have? Can you show me? Laughing <laughs> that. You stole a meat stick. You can have that. All you gotta do is ask. Although I like your laugh. Good lunch. 
good lunch. You had a good lunch, Tudor? <laughs> Bringing up the rear, huh? Yeah. Snacks. Don't give your brother up his snacks. We got really lucky in that we saw not only seals, but multiple bald eagles while we were in this area. Jason, his parents, and Scott and Morgan went out on the bridge with Jude, and I kept the little kids in turn here because not all of us wanted to do that. How was it? It was actually pretty scary. Well, we didn't even make it halfway out there on the bridge, and uh, my parents only made it about a quarter of the way out, and they went back. It was a good decision to not take the little boys? Yes. The walkway is very narrow, and the cars are going by. It seems like really fast. Only going 30, but it seems like they're very fast because they're right by you. Yeah, and you're really high up. Very high up, yeah. So there's a couple that walked out there. I was waiting the, by the concrete barrier, and this couple walked out, and I was watching. There was no hesitation walking out there on the bridge. And about 30 or 45 seconds later, I see the wife walking back, and she's got this very frightened look. She's like, oh! I turned around and she was behind me hugging the, the concrete barrier. <laughs> that bridge uh, trek is not for everyone. <laughs> um, right now we are headed over to Rosario Beach to go check out hopefully some tadpoles. We have not had very much luck with tadpoles this year. So hopefully we can see at least something uh, to share with family. So let's go check it out. This is actually a pretty cool area. We were really surprised that there was a ranger on site that had informational pamphlets of, to hand out to people of what you were seeing and walked around and explained a lot of things. We learned a lot during this stop, thanks to her. There's lots of crabs in here. All right guys, so we're at a place with lots of tadpoles and stuff. I don't know what it is, where we are, but uh, we're not allowed to touch this stuff here because I guess it's a really sensitive area for the wildlife. So we have to follow this trail, but there's a lot of cool stuff here. Guys, there's a heron right here. It's hunting right now. Uh, pretty cool, it's caught a couple of fish. Oh, do you want to hear what I learned? Yeah. 
I learned that the seaweed that's down there on the rocks, the bubbles are filled with gas and yes. it's a product of photosynthesis Ooh. and it helps it float. So these, these ones out here that you see in the water, those see those little things bobbing around in the water, those are filled with a gas that helps them to float on top. Cool. I totally caught this moment by accident, but I love these photos of Scott and Morgan dancing their way back up the pier. So we have, what are you doing? We have been out adventuring all day and we're really tired, but we are heading to the casino on a date night with Jason's mom and dad and his brother and Morgan. Yeah, we were able to convince Taryn to watch the three boys tonight do dinner and then talk Jude into putting the boys down <laughs> for bed. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. She's not really watching Jude. He's 14, but uh, yeah. Her grandpa offered to pay her 40 bucks and Taryn is very financially motivated. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And uh, we're heading out to the Indian reservation to go to one of the casinos right up the road from our campground. So it should be fun. Which we haven't had a date night in a while. It's called Swinomish. Swinomish, Swinomish Casino. We'll go see if we can make any money. We got a little spending money. Don't show people that. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go turn this into a thousand bucks, huh? I'm lucky, you should give me all the money and let me play. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> I'm luckier than you? Yeah. As, as I get it from my mama. Every time my mama goes to the casino, she wins money. That's right. Channeling our inner geeky. It's my retirement fund. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. No. Pay her 50 bucks a month to go gamble for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go have a fun date night and hope that our children are still alive and well when we get home. Bye. Bye. We didn't come home with the big bucks, but we did win enough money to continue playing for a few hours, so it was fun. All right, we are going whale watching today, <laughs> going on a whale watching tour. Taryn and I did this in 2018, I guess it was, but none of the boys got to go. So they're pretty excited this morning. <laughs> That's what I told Zachary, that I didn't want to rent, do a tour where the whale was bigger than the boat. <laughs> Who's ready to see some whales? You? Me. <laughs> you? There, look. I saw three. Whoa. Yeah.
we don't see too many of those up in this region of Salish Sea. So I'm going to be listening carefully, see if they um, vocalize it all, because that'll be the true tell. So the big blonde one on the left is absolutely a stellar sea lion, so is the one just to his right. Their scientific name translates from white headed sea eagles in reference to their preference for fish. That's why you tend to see them building nests around marine and aquatic environments. But they're not so picky that they'll only eat fish. They'll take out birds. This is the second time we've used Island Adventures whale watching tours. Uh, and I have to tell you, this is the best of the best. We have had a wonderful experience both times. We've done other whale watching tours that don't even compare to this. What I love about their boat is there's a bathroom, there's a place to escape inside from the wind and the cold, and their PA system is stellar. You can hear every single thing no matter how windy it is, no matter how loud it is, and we learn a ton. We learned totally different things the first time than we did the second time. Uh, I highly, highly recommend them if you're in Northern Washington. <laughs> Grandma might win, y'all. Uh -oh. Maybe. You know who's not winning? <laughs> Me with my Chinese fan over here. <laughs> Zachary, are you cheating? So you played that? Yep. Okay. Uh oh. Lots of them. Lots of a couple more. At least a couple more, right? Right? A couple more. Yeah, I got yellow. What you got? Shoot, how many you got? Rivers. Yellow, yellow. Back to you, Mom. Back to yellow. Do you feel my cold, icy glare? She doesn't have any more yellow. She has to draw some more. <laughs> I held on to that and I played her at the right time. Here we go. Before they head out and go back to Texas, we decided to do one last picnic. We didn't eat all our food though and decided to do the tortilla challenge instead. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> get him, hon, get him. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? One, two, three, go.
Say goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Love you. We are so thankful our family took time out of their busy schedules to come and see us on the road and we loved making all of these memories. Stay tuned for our next video where we are heading out of Washington over into Montana and have a harvest toast day.